Okay, this is the last um, video. It's about how accrual prepayments, interest, and tax affect the balance sheet. So, just to let you know that they do not affect non current assets, you complete this section here just as you did before. Okay, but let's look when we get to current assets. We still list our assets in the order. The one that takes the longest to turn into cash goes first, and inventories, trade receivables, but there's a gap there now. And the gap is for your prepayments. Prepayments, remember, you've paid an amount in advance, so you're due to receive something in the future. It's a little bit like the trade receivables, your customers are out to pay you, so it's similar. Put it in there. 400. Now, where did I get the 400 from? If you go up, remember there, it says rent and rates paid in advance, 400. We identified it was a prepayment. Okay, it goes in there. Don't forget, let's add up our current um, assets and then our total assets, which is your non current and your current. And you get 334522. That next point, little yellow highlight on there because we need to see that the bottom half of the balance sheet also agrees to that figure. Okay, cross payments, interest, and tax do not affect equity and liabilities either, so this section is completed as before. Share capital from the trial balance, share premium from the trial balance. But don't forget retain earnings you get from your bottom half of your income statement. Remember the three six three five zero. Put it in. Cup of tea, if you add it up you get 289007. Non-current liabilities again, just as before. You've got a 5% bank loan. The company owes £20,000. Put it straight in. Add it up. Last bit, therefore, current liabilities. So you're used to seeing trade payables, loan interest payable, and tax payable, but this time you've got a little bit more work to do in terms of working out the numbers. First of all, I also want to introduce the new thing, which is the accruals. Now remember, accruals are the complete opposite of prepayments. You owe, if we actually look at the question above, the company owes. 354 for wage and salary, so it's not paid at the end of the year. Amounts that are unpaid and are due to be paid within a year are called current liabilities. Stick in the 354. Now you've got to be careful on the next one loan interest payable. Okay, remember, we worked out what a whole year's interest is. We said it was a thousand pounds, but look at number five it says six months bank loan, bank loan interest is unpaid. So we need half of that therefore, because half of that is six months, and you have to put the five hundred in there. Last one's easy. Whatever I said the corporation tax was in the adjustments there, number four, seven six eight seven, you put it in the balance sheet. Now just to let you know, corporation tax is paid nine months and one day after the end of the accounting year or the balance sheet date. Stick it in. Let's add all those up, and you should get 25515. We also want our total liabilities, which is our non current and current. Add those two together, 45515. And lastly, let's hope we want our total equity, which is the 289007, and our total liabilities, 45515, come to 334522. Let's make it yellow because then we're going to check it to our total assets. Just make sure it's the same. 344522. Yes, we know it's perfect. So, just to clarify, prepayments go on to current assets after trade receivables. They're kind of like a receivable. And the remaining adjustments of accruals, loan interest, corporation tax payable all go onto current liabilities. These are amounts that need to be paid within a year of the balance sheet date. Okay, last thing, just be careful here. This is six months interest only. Some questions say all of the interest has been is unpaid. In that case, whatever you put in the income statement, put in the balance sheet. But this question is slightly different. It says six months, so you only want half of that to go in. And that is that